Hey, how you doing guys? Uh, for a uh, topic for this week, I'm going to talk about some very good news with uh, Blackmagic Design. And uh, they released some new hardware panels and software for the, the Linux-based systems. And first, let me go in, a little bit into their hardware. Now, they did release some cheaper um, hardware controllers uh, to use with uh, DaVinci Resolve. And it's still a bit high price, but at least they lowered the price down within reason for two different price models. And I think they're trying to compete with things like uh, the Tangent Wave and, and some of their hardware controllers. It's still a bit high, uh, I believe, but I think it does offer a bit more than in some of the more cheaper models. So, um, but what's most interesting is um, the release of new Linux software for D uh, DaVinci Resolve. Now, DaVinci Resolve is available on the Linux platform, but it is a very um, custom build, and you have to buy their, I believe it was their $29,000 um, hardware controller panel to go with this Linux software to be able to even use it on, the, on Linux systems. Now, of course, they've had the Windows and Mac version for a while. Um, the free version, which is now called uh, just simply DaVinci Resolve, and then the paid one, which is, uh, I believe, $995, which is um, DaVinci Studio or DaVinci Resolve Studio. And I really believe in using Linux for turnkey systems for, you know, production and other things could be... Um, animation and so forth. I think Linux is a great uh, system to use. And so now pretty much it's going to be covered for all three operating systems uh, on a much lower level before, like I said, the Linux version was very high priced considering you had to buy the hardware to go with it. So people can actually build their syst Linux systems around their own needs and uh, even use a free version and run up to the $995 studio version if they need it. And what's also really nice is um, with the free version on Linux, you can use dual graphic cards. Um, now to be able to use more than that, you have to pay the for the studio version. You can go up to eight graphic cards uh, for better performance. And... Now, I knew before that um, the free version on Mac, um, dual graphic cards is supported with their new 2013 Mac Pro and above. And um, I'm not sure if the Windows version supports up to gra two graphic cards for their free version, but at least now um, I think all three platforms are more on an even level, which I, I think is great. Now, I think the reason they did this was for several reasons, try to compete um, since they brought their price of their hardware controllers down, I think they decided to do the, make the Linux version as well more on par with their Mac and Windows versions. So I think this is great news. Um, gives you more options. Like I said, I love uh, Linux for turnkey systems. 3D animation could be video editing and so forth. So... Um, uh, that's it, and I figure I'd uh, tell you the great news. Thanks.